Hey, Jack here. I'm out in the desert east of Lakeview, Oregon, near Plush, at the famous Dust Devil Sunstone Mine. And we're going to be blasting today for two important reasons. One is to find some amazing Oregon sunstones, and two, to recover an excavator. We had an excavator slide off the high wall into the working pit. Luckily, the operator was not injured, but uh, it's a tight fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to blast out part of the high wall and make room to tip this bad boy back on its feet. Don Buford and Terry Clark are the owners of the Dust Devil Mine. The Dust Devil is located in the heart of the plush Oregon sunstone fields and consistently produces award-winning gemstones. Sunstones are sorted mechanically by the area's only optic sorter. Gem hunters visit here from around the world to dig up their very own amazing sunstones. Our first shot is to take out a boulder with a shape charge. Sweet. Did the job. Yeah, perfect. Before we can blast, it's time to do some drilling. We're using an old Joy rock drill. This thing is older than World War II, but it still works great. Uh, we've got 12 holes here loaded hot, ready to go. We're unfortunately using electric cap that are in-hole delays. I do not like electric caps. I will not put them in the ground anyway. And so what we do is we tape them off to debt cord and we use the debt cord to prime the charges below. So, I, you know, actually I need to clarify, electric caps are excellent on the surface. Do not put them underground. So again, we cap the charges underground with deck cord and have the caps external. And that way, if there's a misfire, we can just tape a new cap onto the deck cord and we're good to go. Non-Ls are the way to go, but in this case, we're using old in-hole delay electrics to get them burned up. So what we've done is tried to use some old uh, in-hole delay electric caps. They're too old, they're not working very well, lots of misfires. What I've done is I've just laced up the existing holes with deck cord, attached them to the deck cord that primes the charges in the ground, so they should all go off at once. We lose the advantage of having a delayed blasting system, but at least I don't have to go back there and try to clear more misfires. So the fragmentation was pretty good. Would have been better if we could have taken full advantage of the delays and the caps, but at least uh, the equipment can get in here and start working on this ramp and clearing this material out.
After clearing out all the loose rock, it was finally time to see if we could upright the excavator. Well, the challenge continues. We just tried to pull, a, pull the excavator up and snap the cable, so off to plan B. The guys had to remove the boom and the counterweight to finally get the excavator back up on its tracks. Want to learn more about Oregon Sunstones? Visit the crew at dustdevilmining.com.